I ran across a video Dr. Rhonda Patrick released on one of her talks discussing the potent effects of exercise on the heart. In that video, she points out their hearts got like more malleable and they got larger and it was like looking at a 30 year old heart and these were 50 year olds. And that's an incredible point. I mean, imagine something else being able to reverse your heart structure from that of a 50 year old to that of a 30 year old. But is it actually true? Well, we'll find out. But in addition to that, there's a key piece of information not mentioned in Dr. Patrick's talk that is going to be of great interest to many. So let's get into it. Uh, if you aren't familiar with Dr. Patrick, she's earned her PhD in biomedical science and has a real love for discussing the scientific literature, which I do admire about her. So she's quite qualified and she focuses a lot of her attention on exercise and rightly so. I don't think uh, exercise being beneficial is uh, blowing anyone away, but the claim that people can reverse their heart age from a morphological perspective is stunning, if true. Let's uh, hear her discuss it, and then we'll pop open the study that she references for the details. But I think one of the most convincing studies that I've seen for vigorous intensity exercise has to do with structural changes in the aging heart. So as we age, our heart undergoes structural changes. It gets smaller in size and it gets stiffer. And this translates to functional um, you know, deficiencies like exercise capacity goes down, but also it increases the risk for cardiovascular disease. A lot of different changes start to happen in the cardiovascular system when that occurs. So let me jump in real quick. She's spot on about everything so far. As we age, our heart becomes less uh, pliable. It stiffens because the heart is also affected by things like fibrosis, where uh, collagen is overabundantly produced, leading to uh, gaps between the heart muscle cells and the reduction in the translation of the force from the functional heart muscles. That's one of about 50 plus mechanisms. Some are described in this review. The point is, without getting lost in the details, the heart becomes less functional. She's right. And so um, there was a study done at UT Southwest in Dallas by Ben Levine's group where they took 50 year olds that were, they were disease free, but they were sedentary, right? So they didn't have type two diabetes or cardiovascular disease, but they weren't physically active. And they put them on one or two, two different exercise protocols. One that was the control group, which was more like a stretching, a little bit of a body weight um, training. It wasn't high intensity. They weren't really getting the heart rate up. A little more like yoga-ish type of workout. And the other group did that, but they also had a high intensity, like vigorous exercise workout program. And this was a two-year intervention um, study. And so... The first six months was like a progressive building up their 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 endurance, and um, once they got to the six month part uh, mark, uh, most of these people were doing about four to five hours a week of training, and a good portion of that time was spent in what's called maximal um, your maximal state exercise state, where they they were doing like twenty to thirty minutes a day of maximal intensity exercise, uh, not maximal intensity, but um, steady state. So they were able to basically maintain the maximal amount of intensity they could for 20 or 30 minutes. So it was, it was vigorous. They were going 75, 80% max, max heart rate. Um, they also did the Norwegian four by four protocol once a week. And after those two years, the structural changes in their heart reverted back tw almost 20 years. So this, the, their hearts got like more malleable and they got larger and it was like looking at a 30 year old heart and these were 50 year olds and so i mean to me it was just so astounding that you could get structural changes in the heart we're essentially is reversing the aging heart by just about 20 years from doing this vigorous intensity exercise protocol in 50 year olds that were sedentary okay a lot there she mentions the study which i tracked down here in this study, the researchers randomized people into a flexibility group, which was the control group, and an exercise group. Since the title of this video speaks to the type of exercise, 
Dr. Patrick mentions that they were focused on endurance exercise, although they did do some resistance training about twice a week too. The primary focus, without a doubt, was endurance exercise though, that ultimately led up to five to six hours of endurance exercise per week. Also, an important feature here is that these people were in their 50s. This will be an important factor later because, like I mentioned, there's something that Dr. Patrick didn't mention in her presentation that changes how we see this work. Anyway, after two years, what happened to their heart? Well, looking at the data, we have the heart stiffness or the section of the heart that's technically called the ventricle, that stiffness on the vertical axis. The higher it goes, the worse. We have the control or flexibility groups in gray with the pre two years of flexibility training and after two years of flexibility training. Then the same is repeated for the exercise groups pre and post in red. It turns out that stiffness does reduce with exercise training, but not with the control. Not only that, other measures like left ventricular end diastolic volume also improved, seen here. The left side is the control condition and the right is the exercise condition. If it goes up, that's a better scenario. In addition, for those curious, their respiratory capacity also increased. So, all fantastic news. And I agree with Dr. Patrick when she mentions. I mean, to me, it was just so astounding that you could get structural changes in the heart, re essentially is reversing the aging heart by just about 20 years. So changes in the structure of the heart is incredibly difficult, among the most difficult things to do. So this study does offer evidence that it is possible. So yes, there's some evidence that endurance exercise started at the age of 50 can reverse structural signs of aging, which is remarkable. However, where I disagree is this uh, measure of 20 year reversal. I honestly don't know where Dr. Patrick got this number. She cites this sole study and the researchers never quantify the amount of change, nor do they compare against 30 year olds. In addition, looking at some of these metrics that we just went over across studies, I don't see any evidence for a 20 year reversal. So it seems to me that there's a bit of hyperbole at play here. At any rate, there's one more thing to keep in mind that these researchers point out that's also critical. They mention that they've tried similar experiments in people over the age of 65 and have been unable to show these effects. That might indicate that there's a window where a person can reverse their heart aging and that window is somewhere in the 50s and likely younger, but begins to close as one creeps deeper into their 60s. However, even the researchers acknowledge that this might be an incomplete view, considering that their previous work did not use the same intense exercise protocols. So it may simply be because the exercise routine was too different. And speaking to that age reversing exercise routine, I went through all the studies that the researchers cited to create a step-by-step -step plan based on their age reversing protocol. It's available to the Physionic Insiders if you're ever so inclined to give it a shot. Not to mention the access to all my work from the monthly podcast, the extended video library, the summaries, and more. It's a steal, I tell ya. Anyway, it's linked in the description of this video if you're interested in joining. Okay, now, what are the takeaways here? Well, just because there's no evidence that exercise reverses heart age by exactly or even nearly 20 years doesn't mean that it isn't a benefit to you. So if interested in these benefits, make sure that you do endurance exercise five to six hours per week. In addition, there's a chance that if you're 40 or 50, this is your golden window that may close in the future. That said, I don't want to dissuade anyone older from exercise. There's still many, many benefits independent of this outcome. I think that Dr. Patrick does a great job bringing forward a powerful study, and I truly do share her excitement, even if I wouldn't jump to agree on the general statement of 20-year reversal necessarily. I have more on heart health right here, by the way, and I link more on my health influencer science breakdowns right here. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.